Okay, so this is Mike Matheson with a demonstration of SuperVote, the Google SuperVote, and a little demonstration of how we can use it to create something much bigger than what Google has in mind, or maybe they even have it in mind. We're going to find out with your help. But this is how they use it right now on shows like American Idol. I watched the show tonight so that I could make an uh, informed vote for these people. And I think this guy right here gave the best performance, Alex. So I raise my thermometer there up to 50 or as little as one vote. So you can give these people a moderate type of uh, vote or you can go all the way up to their maximum, which is 50. I'm going to give him 50, so I say continue. And now you see the 50 beside his name. But the beauty of Google SuperVote is it doesn't have to stop there. Now, I also think that this chick, Jessica, did a fabulous job as well tonight. And I just like her looks on top of that. So I'm going to give her, say, 25 votes because she's good. And, but not as good as Alex. So I'll give her like 20. Oh, let's go to 30. Okay, so then I hit continue. And then this kid over here, I think, did almost as good a job as Alex. Maybe, yeah, about the same. So I'm going to go up to here, click on his face, and then I'm going to give him, say, uh, 35 or maybe 40. Let's go with 40. Because it was all I enjoyed his performance almost as much as Alex and a little bit more than Jessica. So I'll give him 40 and I hit continue. Now that's as you can see, I put 50 votes over here on Alex's side. I put 30 votes into Jessica's side. And then I gave Sam 40 votes. I'm not going to give any votes to this guy. He's always off key. I don't know how he ever got this far. I do like this gal Jenna because she's also very, very cute. But uh, I don't get her at all compared to these other three. So I'm done. And now I just say submit the votes to American Idol. And we're done. Now I can also share this on Google Plus or on Facebook or whatever. But um, and then it says I can even go back and change my mind and make some more votes for more people. Now the point is this is a wonderful way to add a lot of excitement to real democracy because number one, we don't have to have just two people. We can have six or 18 or 20 or 200. And then you just give the people that you like the most the most votes. And the, and it goes right on down the line in order of, of, of your priorities. And everyone else does that. You, the computer is going to tally it up at the end of the day. And the guy who gets the most votes or the group that gets the highest number of votes would go on to like a second round, just like they do in American Idol. Every week you could have another round and, and narrow it down to uh, three or four people and then have a final vote, you know, have, keep a uh, sub, sub final vote, semi final voting like that on and on and on uh, three, four, five times until you get down to say three people in a final vote. And then everybody would give this same kind of uh, uh, voting. You know, I can even change my vote because it's not official yet, apparently. <laughs> and uh, and then the winner, obviously, is going to be the, the one who gets the most vote from the most people in that uh, period of time. Now, that's that's just for opening it up to a wider range of people instead of Tweedledee and Tweedledum. The idiots we get from the Democratic and the Republican Party, they're all useless. They just want to vote for uh, the, either the party, what the party tells them to vote for, or whoever pays them the most money. So this would be a way to open it up to millions of people, and then the money would not have as big an influence. Now, what if here's a real value of this super vote in the super states of America? What if instead of people here, instead of faces, you saw actual solutions and then you're voting for a solution to a problem that say six people have suggested or six groups of people have suggested and let's say this is the final and we've gone through 6,000 suggestions this way and the ones that got the most votes have been finally filtered down to six 
So let's say up here that this is about um, taxes and this um, proposition wants to eliminate all income taxes. That's it. No, no uh, other way to increase revenues for the government. This solution down here wants to eliminate all income taxes, but uh, introduce a national sales tax to replace that revenue so that we still have an army and a navy and air force marines and all that great stuff that America is famous for. So that would be the second solution. And let's, let's say the third solution eliminated income tax on the personal side but not on businesses and had a, a slight, a tiny sales tax, national sales tax, but raised fees for the oil industry or cut their subsidies or something like that so that we could um, uh, discourage the use of oil and things that pollute the earth and the some of the excess money to be used for green alternative energy so maybe you know you'd bought you'd pick this one or this one over this one that had a kind of a half-baked solution. Remember this one, he just eliminated income tax and didn't replace the revenue for the government at all. This one replaced a little bit of it and this one replaced it all and had a surplus so we could invest in green energy from uh, f uh, taking penalt giving penalties and removing the subsidies on the dirty energy and the stuff that's killing us and poisoning the earth and destroying our planet. So, you know, in that case, you might vote this guy the most, this one the next, you might vote this one 50 votes, this one 30 votes, and this one 10, because at least there's a solution here that you can agree with on, on its basic foundation, which is eliminating the income tax. I think we'd all like to do that. So that's a sample of how we use Google SuperVote to create the super states of America, and remember, you heard about it here first, and uh, you're going to be hearing a lot more about this, hopefully with your help. Read on.